Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be looking at the second of the Halo TV show sets. This is the Renegade Banshee. I've already looked at the little mongoose, um, so if you want to take a look at that review, I'll put the little card up in the corner. Before we get into this, I just want to give a thank you to Halo Bricks for helping me get this. I will have the link to his Instagram down in the description below. And without any further ado, let's jump right in. The box is a standard like $20, $25 set size. This is a $25 set, so do not buy the $40 listing on Amazon. That is double price, basically. We have some pretty nice art going on. Um, this whole, all the TV show sets kind of depart from the just Forerunner background that Mega usually has been doing for the new Mega branding, and we've got like actual background uh, scenery, which is kind of nice. We get to see Spartan Soren here. The Banshee is flying by overhead. We get to see the figures up here. We have Master Cheeks or Jimmy Rings on the side. Got another shot of the Banshee itself. Around the back, we get to see the Banshee opening up. Soren with his pistol other sets and around the side we get this nice little piece of art where the banshee is like flying and soren is hiding so let's go ahead and get this open Alrighty, i've got my knife it's kind of interesting mega has been using what almost looks like packing tape to seal these boxes lately which is a little odd typically they'll just have less um intrusive tape but I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just is something that I noticed and found to be a little odd. Um, looks like we have some more art. This is this is really cool, actually. This is like Western gunslinger-looking kind of art. He looks ready to draw the elites there with his sword. That's pretty cool. What about the other side? Oh, look at that. There's like a whole swarm of them. Very nice. neat. Um, parts, we have... Four bags, it looks like, and then the canopy piece is loose. I believe this is the same as the Banshee one. Or the, yes, no duh, it's a Banshee one. The same as the Banished Banshee, the, the most recent one. Instructions look pretty normal. No surprises here. Um, yeah, doesn't look like there's any surprises to be found in the instructions. So let me go ahead, get these built or this, I guess it's only really one build, and we will take a closer look. And we are done. I have to say right off the bat, I am not totally impressed with the quality of this set so far. Not the way that things are designed or built really, it's just the parts in particular of the Banshee don't feel super great quality. Um, it almost feels like going back to old Mega Bloks, and you can even see on this piece, come on, there is flashing around the edges. Look at that. That is really not what I want to see. I don't want to see Mega going backwards in terms of their parts quality because we've come a long way. And the um, the Fleet Com Mongoose didn't really have that problem, but parts some parts were too hard to put together. Some parts were too easy to put together. There's a couple things about the figures that I need to talk about. So, yeah, I... That's that. I just want to get that out of the way right off the bat. I'm not totally impressed with the quality. That being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Look at the figures. Starting off here is Spartan Soren, and I gotta say, right off the bat, he looks really, really well done. Like, ah, the original guess when this guy first leaked was that he was gonna be a Halo Heroes figure, and I really still think he looks like a Halo Heroes figure. Um, his face is done really, really well. I would say it's one of the best mega heads that they've done to represent a character. It really looks like the actor. Now, there is a couple things. First of all, he's supposed to have like, I don't know, I guess it's just supposed to be a shadow under his lip or something. It's a little hard to see. And the way they printed his eyes, they printed the white so it doesn't like have a continuous line across the bottom, which makes his pupils extra long, which is a little creepy looking. That won't be the case for every... Um, every version of this figure, but it's something that could happen. Interesting 
new pieces here though. We have a whole torso that is a new piece. And I believe that waist unit is a new piece as well. We have print on the arms, both sides. It looks really nice. Soren has his trusty golden revolver. Um, and it's kind of funny. So <laughs> he's using the brute hands, actually. The three finger brute hands. Really, really don't know why Mega can't seem to get, <gasps> wait a second. Hang on. Okay, hold on. I need to take all of that back. Mega is actually really clever. Oh my gosh. So he's got the normal hand here. And on this side, he has the three fingered brute hand because Soren has the disfigured hand in the show. Actually, this plastic is even kind of mushy and weird looking. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. But wow. Okay, that's actually really, really clever. They used. Uh, they use the brute hand to show his his hand because his fingers are kind of like stuck together because um, of the way that his Spartan process went. So that's really clever. Now, this coat, I believe, was from the Call of Duty line. Uh, I don't really know how well it will last, going to be honest. But I don't know. It works for now i would like them to find a different solution for their rubber but that's that's a, for a different day the feet do not want to stay on the studs all that well and also this hand the revolver kind of wobbles around in it but look at that torso it's got the spartan chest plate molded in so it's like kind of like this chest plate or i guess the newer version of it but it's a lot smaller. Obviously, it has to be smaller because it's got to fit under the jacket. But yeah, that's interesting. It's really interesting. And then it goes around to the back too. It is painted up. Huh. Yeah, undersuit is a... Uh, the, the waist unit up for the undersuit is a new piece. He's got the bit of armor left. Yeah, I mean, aside from the quality stuff, also his shoulder doesn't want to go in all the way. Aside from the quality stuff though... I would say this is a pretty well-produced figure. It's just something about the way that they did this plastic. And again, this could be this could be early production um, problems, which that happens a lot. But right now, it's not the most impressive in terms of the quality. The coat is a little bit beefy, but it's a coat over Spartan armor, so I don't really know how we can complain about that. But yeah, the feet just don't seem to want to stick all that well uh, the gun you can see just fell out of his hand and then that little weird print on his eyes but yeah that seems like a lot of quality control problems but he is a really well done figure and it's a pretty cool character uh yeah i mean i'm i'm mostly impressed i'm impressed with the design work that went into the figure i'm just not totally impressed with the quality also, the orange is a little bright, but that is kind of excusable. Well done, just lacking in the quality aspect. And here is the Elite. This design has been really controversial since the show kind of showed them off. Um, they're really thick and chunky and almost brute-like in the show. But the Mega figure doesn't use a ton of new pieces. There are some really important new pieces, but for the most part, he really does look like an elite. And I think this looks really good. It also does not really look like the ones from the show because the ones from the show were like this slate gray almost. This is a decent like CE blue with sand blue over top and then the orange. So color wise, it doesn't look like the show. And also it's more elite like than the ones from the show but we have a new chest plate which comes in two pieces got big shoulders almost like an arbiter and then we have this new helmet piece which also is almost arbiter-esque looks really nice tons and tons of print work over the entire figure come on buddy put your helmet back on what oh oh it's a funny angle tons of print work i would say this is halo heroes level for sure He's got paint on his feet, paint around the shoulders of his armor, which is attached to his chest plate, orange on the chest plate, on the head, 
That's really good. And then we've got a painted up energy sword, which looks absolutely fantastic. That is so cool to get. Yeah, 100% could see this as a Halo Heroes figure. The new shoulders are interesting because like this, it kind of blocks it. But if you move the arm back slightly, you can still get pretty decent range of motion. So I don't really have any complaints there. Honestly, really well done figure. This guy's shoulder also has kind of the same rattly issue, but he has less um, QC problems than Soren does. Yeah, I don't know what you think of the Halo Show Elite design. I personally think they look kind of derpy in the show themselves. Uh, they just kind of look fat, but this figure is great. I love this figure. This is this is really well done. Mega has taken something that's kind of meh and turned it into a fantastic figure. And finally, we come to the Banshee itself. And this Banshee is essentially a Reach Banshee. The only difference is the wingtips have these little, um, they're originally mech finger pieces, but these little like fins. That's the really only real difference between this and the Reach Banshee. Now, I couldn't actually find any reference images of the show Banshee at all. So I can't speak to how accurate this is, but to the Reach one, it's it's really close. It's really, really close. This one doesn't have the shooting turret gimmick, so it's just got the molded pieces, which is kind of nice, to be honest. Um, got a bunch of printed pieces on the wings, which is nice as well. This is the same canopy from the Banished Banshee. It just doesn't have the front attachment. Prints around here for the thruster unit area. Fold the wings up to see the underside. Looks good. We got some bricks to help it stand up. You can easily remove those. The whole canopy can open up like so. The gap on the front isn't too bad. There is a gap, but it's not It's not horrible. Then we have a little control panel. Same control panel on the other recent Banshees. Ugh. And then, let's see. How hard is it to get the Elite in there? If I don't have him like actually holding on, can I just kind of set him in it is a little bit limiting come on now okay that's not that hard and you don't even have to really have him hold it because he'll stay in there um so yeah it, it looks good oh there's even more print here forgot to point that out it looks good, it's pretty swooshable. I just am not impressed with the, the parts quality. Like the base plate for the bottom of this thing is a little bit warped. Um, the guns like to pop off. It's held on by three studs, but it still likes to pop off with little to no, like touch it wrong and it comes off. It might look like I'm pushing hard. It, I'm really not pushing hard. Um, yeah, just the tolerance is is not great. You can see like gaps in between some of the pieces like they don't want to stick down all the way So it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart in my hands, but also it doesn't feel super sturdy I, Just because of the way the pieces are oh also forgot to point out these are the old um, like covenant shield pieces repurposed which is cool but Yeah, uh, it's a great looking banshee. It, it really is but it's just, it needs uh, an up in the quality of the plastic that was used. Again, this might be changed in the later waves. They might get things in order and start pumping out more quality product because these are not technically released. They are supposed to release next year, like beginning of next year. But yeah, right now it's a bit of a meh quality wise but it does look fantastic and if you want a great stand-in for a reach banshee this is what you need well there you have it that is the renegade banshee from the halo tv series quality problems aside i really think this is a good set it's not very army buildable which is a little bit of a shame because it would be great to be able to get um get more of those elites Honestly, if I had been setting up this wave, I probably would have put Soren in the smallest set so that you could just buy him easily and then put a Marine in this set so that you could buy a bunch of these, get a bunch of Banshees, get a bunch of Marines, get a bunch of Elites. As it is, if you army build it, you're going to end up with a ton of Sorens, which 
I mean, having a couple extra would be kind of interesting for customizing purposes, but you don't really need an army of him. So that's kind of a, a little downside. 25 feels, I mean, it feels normal. It's not a great price, but it's also a normal price. So I'm okay with that. Um, quality print-wise on the figures is really good. I really do think both of them could be Halo Heroes figures. It's great to get extra print on the Banshee itself, and it's great to get a Reach-looking Banshee. So, all told, this is a good set. I do recommend it. However, just be aware that the pieces, when you're building the Banshee, if you get one in these earlier waves, might be a little bit finicky, um, and you might also run into some other problems. But, I do think it's a good set. And, like I said, Soren's head is one of the most accurate mega heads I think we've gotten. Uh, just aside from that funny print with the eye, it is pretty well done. Also, Soren's just whole Spartan survivor desert gunslinger vibe is really interesting. And I think it's one of the things that the show did do well. I think that's a great costume design. Um, I, I feel it feels weird complimenting the show, but they did do his outfit and and his get up really well. And honestly, I feel like this dude could fit nicely in with the infinite stuff because of how many Spartans uh, had to like cobble their armor together. So yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. And I'm honestly looking forward to getting this guy out for some photos because I love shooting in like desert environments. So he lends himself well to that type of photography. So yeah, uh, all told, I'd give this set maybe an eight out of 10 if I were rating it that way. Uh, maybe knock it to a seven because of the quality. But yeah, if you want a Banshee and you want some cool figures, this is the set to get, but do not pay more than $25 for it because 25 is retail. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.